Hello everybody and welcome to Romanceville's Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading. Now this is a reading, it's a weekly reading, so it's going to range from the 15th of August all the way until the 22nd of August. And this one here is destined for the sign of Leo. That being said, this is a general reading, so it might not, you know, resonate with everybody. So please do take whatever feels good with you, whatever resonates with you, and the rest of it, just leave it aside. If it does not feel right, then it most likely is not right for you. That being said, if ever you would like to have some information on your own personal situation, you're searching for guidance, you're searching for answers, please do contact me at romancefultarot at gmail.com uh, or you can find the information right below into the YouTube drop box. You will have the listing of the different type of readings that I do offer along with the price list and how to contact me. So please do review that and if you have not yet subscribed to my channel and you do enjoy my videos and you do enjoy my uh, channel, please do click the subscribe button to show your support and show your encouragement to the channel and to myself, it would be mostly appreciated. So please do subscribe. And um, let's begin with this reading. So I'm using the Fairy uh, Tarot. We're just going to go see what's going to go on for you this week. So I have the Ten of Hearts, I have the Ten of Acorns, I have the Chariot, I have the Five of Hearts, I have the Ten of Leaves, with the Three of Leaves, and I have the Six of Bells. So, I do have to say, I do denote um, a lot of sadness this week, um, some fights in the relationship. This is pretty much all um, related to love is what I'm seeing right here at first glance. Um, we're going to begin over here with uh, this one here. We'll begin with the first one, the Ten of Hearts. Now, the Ten of Hearts right now is really trying to give me the message that you're not feeling good. This relationship, you're not happy. Um, there's lacking of joy, of of uh, emotions. Uh, you're not content in this relationship. Your family's around. Your 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 friends are there. Everybody is there for you, but you're missing this. Okay, you're missing joy into the relationship. I feel as though there's a lot of problems lately who have been going on, and this is the first problem that I am seeing right now, okay, is that you are personally lacking of joy and happiness into the relationship. Um, when I move over to the Ten of Acorns, now the Ten of Acorns is really about, um, how can I say, this card really foretells somewhat of a, of a difficult period, okay? Um, this is a partnership that is bringing you just stress right now and burdens. And you may feel like the love of your partner is kind of going away, that it's too much, that you can't carry the weight of this relationship anymore, of these emotions, um, and you just can't carry them into the future, and you don't want to carry these um, these emotions, and you don't want to carry all this weight with you into the future. You feel as though you're not moving forward. So this is really about you're tired, you could use a break, and you know, you should give yourself one. This is really, you should be giving yourself a break right now because you are tired, because you are unhappy, because you're bringing all these burdens. And then I have the chariot, and the chariot is really just telling me, you know what, this is just you giving a fighting chance to the, to the relationship, but you don't know where to put your chariot. You do not know in which, you know, in which are you going up, are you going down, what side, where are you directing your chariot? you do not know. This is you going blindfoldly, just moving forward, trying to save this relationship as you can, trying to steer your chariot as best you can with the abilities and the knowledge that you have on your relationship right now. So this is really what I'm seeing here. Um, and then I have here a moment of, um, a moment of sadness, a moment of, um, what the five of hearts here is really about the temperament this is really about, it's reminding us, I'm sorry, of uh, where you need to put your focus. Where do you need to put your focus right now in your relationship? Okay, so um, is it, are, is your, I just want to ask you a question. Are you putting your, um, your emotions, let's set it this way, um, into the relationship? Are you putting it at the right place? Instead of fighting, instead of going straight for it, instead of, of um, 
of, of trying to surmount the challenges in that way? Is there a better way to pass over these challenges, to communicate with your partner um, so it comes out easier, so it's, it's less misunderstood, so it's accepted better? So this is really what I'm trying to get as a message here is that you really knew, do need to put your focus, okay? Whatever focuses you're putting in your life is really going to affect the quality of your life. So try and put all the energy that you do have because I know you need a break. I know you're tired of bringing the burden, but at the energy that you do have to put into the relationship, try and put it at the right place so you can gain from it. So you don't move back two steps every time. And then the ten of leaves here is really just depicting to me, you see the little fairies are sleeping down there. This is just it represents that you feel like you've been erased by the love situation, that you're not going to go anywhere with this relationship. You have a need to maybe start over. Uh, this card usually appears in breakups. Um, so this is really about, you know, the great sadness and all the questioning that you're asking yourself on what to do with this relationship um, because you can't continue like this, as I said. Um, and then over here, once again, we have the... Um, we have the little fairy boy who's just all sad here onto his mushroom and this is really the three of leaves is again it's heartaches you're feeling like the prospects you and your and your partner like the prospects of this relationship and the outcome of the relationship is bleak and um and this is creating you some hurt it's creating you some conflict some tears some painful separation uh, i feel as though there's going to be some angry words there's going to be some grief there's going to be some rejection uh, this is really about someone who's being broken somebody who's suffering from all of this and the final card is really just depicting that in this relationship there's no um there's no generosity towards you there's no necessarily kindness or thoughtfulness of you which is why you're carrying all this weight uh, this is really somebody who's thinking more about themselves who are more selfish uh, they only think about their own feelings and not necessarily about your feelings so this is the reading for this week um, I do wish you much courage. Um, I do wish you uh, many blessings. I hope that you have friends and family around. I do, you know, as the card depicted here, that you can go see, that you can discuss this about, to try and find some solutions, to try and find a better way to solve these problems. Um, you know, the future is never carved into stone. Whatever you do every single day impacts your future. So just try and focus your energy, like I said over here, in the right department, the right way to send the message out and it should help things out quite some bit. So if you are, um, if you would like to have some guidance on your personal relationship, please do contact me at romancefultarot at gmail.com. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe to receive my weekly readings, uh, my daily readings that I do every day. And um, I do uh, wish you a fantastic day, uh, many, many blessings, and thank you for being there.